Hello everybody and welcome to the May 2020 update from Clyde Bridge Station. I hope you enjoyed the little running session I had there at the start with 47461 arriving in with a local service from Glasgow Central via East Kilbride and 47628 backing onto the empty stock. And that also allowed me to briefly demonstrate something to you using 47628, uh, what I've done in the, the sidings here. More about that in a little while. We'll start off, however, with this month's update up here. And you may remember I mentioned to um, I was going to build one of these, and then I did one in the last video. This is the Quadrant Park Nightclub. I won't go into the specifics once again of it, because video 45 um, shows you me building it. Um, but there has been another little development. BRM Magazine was asking people to send in some photos on their Twitter page and I went and sent in a couple of photos of this which also appear on Instagram page and BRM magazine asked me if I could do a 100 word write up on this so that's been sent in to Howard Smith the, ma the editor of BRM magazine and he said they will put it into their mailbox section that's um, just for the short little pieces I don't know when it'll actually appear, um, there is a backlog at the moment of stuff they were, he was saying, so once I do know when it is going to appear in BRM magazine, I will let you know on here and on the Facebook page as well for Clyde Bridge Station. Just moving along from that, this was briefly mentioned to you in the video about me building the Quadrant Park, and it is a, a purchase from Grant Pierce on the Facebook group that he runs for buying and selling model railway items and this is a Bachman product and it came branded as a Bachman bank I've rebranded it as a Royal Bank of Scotland and it has of course got the cash machine which you see there and the signage that's on it is correct as it would be in 1990 and that includes the Royal Bank logo facing out there now, unlike the other bank further along the street, which I've branded as the National Westminster Bank, this one here actually has a cash machine and a night safe on it, whereas the other one doesn't. So this one here is um, now virtually complete, and that in the Quadrant Park at the moment would be the last would be the last um, buildings for the street scene. However, I'm not happy with this whole bit here. This hairdresser seems like an okay idea, but it just seems so much out on a limb. And I don't like this bit here that I've done. What I'm thinking about doing is taking up this piece of wood, and I'll put down another of these Metcalf sheets that will cover this whole area, and I'll put down another bit of wood to make the pavement instead, and I'll make a mini roundabout here, and this will be a two-way road, and I'll probably just have in the corner here um, something much smaller, so this won't be getting used again, this will be scrap and what I'll make, I'll probably make it into something like um, a Granada TV rental shop from 1990 again something else that's rarely modelled, so it'll be a case of me using some more scrap stuff to try and make a TV rental shop, so that's going to be my next plan how I'm going to achieve that with many roundabout signs etc is very simple um, just in a scale model scenery, I was looking at his website and they make these road markings as well, including bus stop ones, double yellow lines, etc. So I'll be placing an order with him for some of those. And I'm going to get more Metcalf's sheets like this to actually put down on the road down it behind the station, which we'll come to later on. Uh, I'll get double yellow lines along here, the bus stop bay will be better marked there and here and there'll be a mini roundabout here For the street scene as well, I've also got an order um, from Mark at Right Track Signs I was speaking to him with friends on Facebook uh, He actually has um, a, a range of whole range of products and I've included uh, a, an order for him for um, the depot for signs for the depot which I'll come to I've also ordered some road signs as well which will be useful for here for maybe having a speed limit change from 20 to 30 no entry signs for that one way street along there 
and various other things as well. I don't know if it includes bus stop signs, but um, you can see that one there is just not it's just not stuck down at all. But the ones that that's just in down at scale model scenery has are self adhesive, so I'll be getting those ones to carry on with the street scene here. Other bit of the street scene I've, is, I've done here is putting more vegetation in here and that will carry all the way along and the wall will finish along there. However, um, something else that would look good on this would be some bits of rubbish. Scale model scenery makes those as well but they're sold out at the moment. If you want an indication of how uh, what they are like if you go into Everard Junction and it's the one where he's making the station platforms for his new layout. Not the old one, but the new one. And he's actually got them at the buffer stops. Um, at the buffer stop for the bay platform. He's got bits of rubbish. And I think that would look good here. They're out of stock at the moment, so I'll have to wait for them to get back into stock. And the likes of scale model scenery and right track signs you'll find them on Facebook or if you put those into your internet search engine I'm sure you'll come across them as for Richard Warren Everard Junction he's on YouTube so give him a check out um, search for Everard Junction and once again mentioning about the Quadrant Park here that was where Lee Butler cut his teeth as a DJ he's on Twitter um, DJ Lee Butler and he's raised a lot of money for the NHS, about twenty odd thousand pound at the time of filming, with his Twitch um, videos, where he's doing live DJ sessions from his house during lockdown. Twitch.com forward slash DJ Lee Butler official, and check out his shows there. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Now, a couple of bits have been done down at the depot. I've finally got all the dropper wire installed the sidings here and um, once I've got the power off again I'll just need to file down some bits of it but that's all the dropper wires installed here and that should hopefully allow some more power to various things and that was the thing that you got demonstrated there with 47628 was it actually coming out of the depot there no problem the track will have to all be cleaned uh, uh, after the, the work's been done and that is going to get done and uh, I've showed you before what I use is this clean track solution and the clean track solution uh, you can buy pads to put it on with but I just actually use cotton buds because they're cheaper also what I've done down here is I'll just move this up a bit I've managed to ballast this siding here set siding number two but I haven't actually ballasted it the whole way up. There's a good um, reason for that, and that will become clear shortly. I haven't ballasted um, the pathway along here yet. I haven't started laying that down, but that will get done after filming's finished today, so it'll be something to report to you next month. And I've also glued down the, the walkway here, so that'll get painted grey, and that'll get done the next couple of weeks as well. The reason I haven't actually went and ballasted the whole length of that along there is because I've also ordered from uh, Right Track Signs uh, signs for the depot and these are customised ones. I've already got this one stuck on the signal box and that's the one that came with the pack of uh, station signs that I ordered some time ago from Sankey Scenics. So, the signage it will be coming will have um, British Rail Clyde Bridge Depot and something like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in here and this one's going to get replaced with one that's included in the park which has the British Rail logo on it this will get fenced over, grassed over so there'll be four spaces there and two spaces there because it's not actually quite a big area this um, and that's Principally because um, there's a signal box and a lot of the staff will use the station staff car park instead. 
What I'll also, I'm going to try and order again, this is from Justin at um, Scale Model Scenery, is chain link fencing that will go along here, round and round. And probably maybe replace this with it, I don't know yet though. What I'm thinking of there is um, the chain link fencing uh, will add greater security. However, I have been reassured by Richard Warren at Everard Junction that the chain link fencing is best described as a torture yourself kit because it's an absolute it needs serious patience and having read the instructions for it on the Scale Model Scenery website I can assure you he's right it will be a, a big job so just do little bits at a time would be what I th would be my advice to anybody thinking about doing it. Well we're here and we're speaking of depots um, quick hello to West Blythe A MPD who's gave me some great hints and tips in the past hello to you and also hello to Dudley Central, uh, both here on YouTube and one non-model railway channel to say hello to is Avoset 1989 run by Paul Clark, whose videos at Euston Station in 1989 gave me the idea to make my layout a terminal layout as well. Now we're, we're getting a lot of progress made along here. I've managed to install a little wall here to separate the Scotland from this Comet store that you see there. However, I've obviously got all this bit here to try and fill up and I've managed to get this hole filled up here as you can see. That'll get covered with vegetation. Now I've got two options here for this bit. One is to leave that fence in, the other is to take it out and put a chain link fence in instead that will end up ordering. And I'm favouring the second option and thus this fence would come along here instead. And I'm also favouring the possibility of actually making a little the back wall of a bus station here instead using whatever scrap wood I might have left. That is obviously dependent upon me actually having the scrap wood and the brick that I'm going to use for that and for the little Granada TV rental shop I've been talking about that'll come um, courtesy of me joining the Scale Model Sceneries mo uh, Model Club it's free to join, you get a few little gifts and you get regular emails so go into the Scale Model Sceneries website one of the free gifts I've got um, that I can download as many times as I want or print off as many times as I want is red brick walling which will actually do for a bus garage at the back uh, sorry a bus station so that is where I'll go put that instead and I'll need to get Strathclyde Transport logo of 1990 and then make up the lettering for the saying what it is This wall here will just stay as it is. I don't see any need to actually come and put any extra fencing on it. And this whole bit here will get covered over by, by vegetation. It just then leaves me with the problem of trying to fill gaps here. Household fill it and then try and get an appropriate colour of paint will do just the job there. And I'm sure that we get tester pots from B&Q. So do you think I should put this fence up here, the GWR fencing along here, or put the chain link fencing up? Leave your um, suggestions in the comments box, please, along with any other uh, uh, comments or queries as well. Now as we come into the station area, this is a uh, little building that David Watson sold me. And I've now got it finally painted with a silver door, brown roof, red around the walls. It's just got to get some signage on it, uh, which I'll I'll get. That'll um, come with the scale model, uh, the right track signs pack. So I'll get a couple of signs on that, and then that's that bit there complete. Obviously, I don't have this ballast here to be able to put on here yet to complete that bit of the, the scene. And I've got this palette painted brown as well. If you can see that there, there you can. Now with regards to the signal gantry I keep coming on about, I'm thinking about taking desperate measures and seeing if B&Q actually happens to sell any rodding that I could then make into a, 
a signal gantry by soldering together. It is a long shot, but I'll have a I'll have a, a route around because that's what's um, preventing me from actually getting all of this ballasted. Cable trunking's all in place. Walkways are all in place. Uh, it's just needing all that done. What has actually been done as we head towards the station area is I've I had to use the last of this here, so I've only got halfway along with that bit. But you will notice that platforms four and five have been ballasted right up to the the walkways, and these bits will just need to get glued on. And that'll be the walkways there complete. As you see, I'll have to put one there as well. So there's um, a lot of bit of work to be done. But uh, those bits in there will go, and that'll be those walkways complete. And then it'll allow me to try and carry on with other things as best I can. Do you think this road looks alright folks or should I replace the surfacing with the Metcalf's card surfacing that I've used on the street scene? Let me know what you think of it. I'm going to have to try and one day tidy up this motor rail ramp and get this gate glued back on. Uh, but I'm actually quite happy otherwise, the gate will just sit like that you see, but I'm happy otherwise with everything else that is done down here. There's been nothing else done here in the station, just the, the ballasting there of platforms 4 and 5, which is actually where you saw 47461 come in. So, not been able to get any more uh, lights for the station, non-operational, and I've not put up any more signage, but I'll be looking to do that very soon. And uh, one person whose station has been really good and it's well famous as well of course is David Watson at Dean Park Station now if you give David a quick check out very well known throughout the model scene um, his layout has had thousands upon thousands of subscribers also while we're at it um, Charlie Bishop he runs um, the Chadwick Junction layout Chadwick Model Railway and at the moment he's doing weekly videos he had a recent problem um, when he was actually testing out his rolling stock because he had a wee problem with one of his coaches on just one set of points that was derailing. So I actually suggested to him something which I actually tried some time ago on these coaches and also on these coaches and that was change the wheels. Now Charlie, if you are watching, I sincerely hope you are, these were the wheels I actually ended up getting that are that's Romeo 8218. So I ended up getting them and they seem to have done the trick. I was just pushing these out the other day to get the this area ballasted. So I've also installed them on these coaches, these Bachman coaches, because they were derailing on the points, but now they seem to be running okay. So uh, that may well just be simpler case here. If it keeps derailing, coach, change your wheels, see what happens, and that may well solve your problem. So check out uh, Dean Park Station and Chadwick Model Railway, and give a big hello to um, the two men behind them, David Watson and Charlie Bishop. And please, um, Charlie and David always ask you to subscribe to their layouts. So if you know anybody who has not subscribed to my layout here on YouTube, please tell them to do so. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to my layout, please. Now the last thing to come to, well, a bit of a long story with this one, but this is um, down here, the sponsor for the Rugby Union team. I'm friends on face on Instagram with a person called Matt Jeans. And I'll reveal a bit more to you about him in a minute. And he's seen this. And he was telling me that I had the wrong logo up. He told me what's, he showed me what style of logo to do. So I've downloaded the correct Wrangler logo. And that was their slogan. That you could see there. That was being used in from 1988 onwards. Until I think it was 96. Matt will correct me if I'm wrong. 
and I've made it a bit larger so it's more to scale as a proper bulbo radvert. Matt actually is currently the marketing director for Wrangler Europe so he should actually know about that so Matt many thanks for that if you want to follow him on Instagram it's Matt Native and Wrangler Europe is on Instagram as well and on Facebook so do check them out they'll be glad for your support One other little thing I'm going to mention to you right now that's going to get done in the near future but hasn't been done yet is obviously I need to get the Hatton's oil spill kit to blacken up the, the sleepers and the, the ballast there where the locos would normally sit. It'll be a lighter one on platform number one because that's only the push-pull train that'll arrive in there. The, the rest of it, as you see here... Um, <laughs> will need to be done at both ends heavily because also locals will be sitting there either waiting whether to take a train out or waiting for the signal to change so they can actually get to the depot so <coughs> that there is um, basically where we're up to and at the time of filming it's an absolutely hot day and I've done a bit of gardening as well so if the weather stays right the next few days, I'll be doing a bit more gardening. And just to let you know as well, this shed has been painted outside um, as well. So I haven't been wasting my time in here during lockdown. I've been getting other things done as well. So that's just about it. Um, except to say, uh, there's a Facebook group, Class 47. Please go and join that Facebook group if you... Facebook group if you like your um, class 47s as I do they'll be more than happy to to um, welcome you into the group that tends with the best looking locomotive that British Rail ever bought and the biggest um, single diesel locomotive type that ever ran on British Rail 512 examples one of the next videos I'm going to actually do or either be focusing on explaining about sleeper trains for those new to the hobby or it might be the work that I do <coughs> up there to try and sort out that junction but either way I will be doing something <coughs> and of course it'll be the June update as well so all it remains for me to do is to say thank you very much indeed for watching please check out the the Facebook groups and the other railway layouts on YouTube that I've checked uh, name checked and also um, please subscribe to my channel as well for lots of content every month in the meantime thank you very much for watching this month's update and stay safe bye bye for now